Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD is progressive, largely irreversible obstruction to airflow out of the lung, which has characterized long-term breathing problems and poor airflow. The most common symptoms of COPD are shortness of breath, and in productive cough, cough produces sputum. These symptoms are present for a prolonged period of time and typically worsen over time. COPD affects quality of life and ultimately result in death. It is estimated that 3% of all disability is related to COPD. Globally, COPD affects approximately 4.8% of the population. Causes Cigarette smoking is the principal cause of COPD. Greater than 10% of the population older than 45 years of age has airflow obstruction. Poorly ventilated cooking fires, often fueled by coal or biomass fuel such as wood and dung, lead to indoor air pollution. Work-related risk factors are, coal mining, construction, and stonemasonry. Chronic bronchitis and emphysema are older terms used for different types of COPD. The term chronic bronchitis defined as, the presence of a productive cough for at least three months for two consecutive years. The term emphysema means permanent enlargement of all or part of the respiratory unit. Respiratory unit includes respiratory bronchioles, alveolar ducts, and alveoli. Majority of patients with COPD have both emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Shortness of breath is a common symptom and is often the most distressing. It is commonly described as, my breathing requires effort, I feel out of breath, or, I can't get enough air in. Physical activity limitation develops. Obstructed airflow may have wheezing, high-pitched whistling sound made while breathing. Cyanosis of the skin and mucous membranes is common. Patients are called blue bloaters because of the presence of cyanosis of the skin and mucous membranes. Tendency for the patient to be stocky or obese. The diagnosis of COPD should be considered in anyone over the age of 35 to 40 who has shortness of breath, a chronic cough, sputum production, or frequent winter colds and a history of exposure to risk factors for the disease. Spirometry is used for the diagnostic of COPD. Spirometry measures the amount of airflow obstruction present. Two main components are measured to make the diagnosis, the forced expiratory volume in one second, FEV1, which is the greatest volume of air that can be breathed out in the first second of a breath, and the forced vital capacity, FEC, the maximum amount of air a person can expel from the lungs after a maximum inhalation. No cure for COPD is known, but the symptoms are treatable and its progression can be delayed. The major goals of management are to reduce risk factors, manage stable COPD, prevent and treat acute exacerbations, and manage associated illnesses. The only measures that have been shown to reduce mortality are smoking cessation and supplemental oxygen. Stopping smoking decreases the risk of death by 18%. Other recommendations include influenza vaccination once a year, pneumococcal vaccination once every five years, and reduction in exposure to environmental air pollution. Exercise may have some benefit. Inhaled bronchodilators are the primary medications used, and result in a small overall benefit. The two major types are beta-2 agonists and anticholinergics, both exist in long-acting and short-acting forms. They reduce shortness of breath, wheeze, and exercise limitation, resulting in an improved quality of life.